in an active network as shown in the display with multiple sources and multiple loads power division theorem estimates back power flow what is back power refer the display it seems that there is no current towards the load l1 at node 3 from the source s1 at node 1 this is not meant that there is no power from source 1 to load 1 there should be a back power flow from the source 1 s1 to the load 1 l1 s1 is performing the task of charge that is current balance at node 3 for maintaining its voltage at 100 volt more charges are coming from the source s2 to the node 3 and excess charges are transferred to the node 1 which contribute 0.5 ampere from node 3 to node 1 now see the display it shows the operating state in the absence of the source s1 at node 1 there is a current of 1.027 ampere from node 3 to 1 and node 3 1 and 4 voltages are reduced to 98.487 volt 96.433 volt and 94.379 volt respectively load powers are also reduced if the source s1 is connected at node 1 the current from 3 to 1 reduced to 0.5 ampere which indicates the source s1 sends current 0.527 ampere that is difference of 1.027 minus 0.5 this 0.527 ampere is from node 1 to node 3 resulting 0.5 ampere from 3 to 1 the current 0.527 ampere contributes back power the node 3 1 and 4 voltages are once again become 100 volt 99 volt and 96 volt as shown in the previous display the power supplied by the source s1 to the load l1 is the back power which is calculated using power division theorem the share of source 1 to the load 1 which is equal to the load power 1 150 watts is multiplied by the ratio of the source current 1 1 ampere to the total source current of 5.5 ampere which is equal to 27.27 watts it is important that the back power flow should be accounted for electrical energy pricing since it is a physical happening in a electrical circuits thank you